We're getting news reports from all over like we do. Our reporters are keeping busy. The hottest news story going right now is the wild Pokemon story. It's become the latest craze. Owen BS was founded by Sac M Net. It's now the biggest information network in the Ori region. Nowadays, Sec ha handles the business side of things, and Net acts as the chief of engineering and technology. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe that was a little complicated. Feel free to wander and look around. I think we're supposed to talk to somebody from my last video. Based from the last video and such? Razzle and Dazzle are a hot new idol duo on the Gadian port. They can sing, dance, and even perform magic stunts. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, okay. Well, hello there, ladies. Hi, I'm Dazzle. Aren't I just the cutest? It's just how I always am. After all, we're going to be dancing in front of the show's title logo. We have to show... We have to show us at our very best. What do you have to say? Hi, my name is Razzle. I've been chosen to dance during the opening of a new program. I'm ecstatic, but I'm really nervous too. What should I do? That sounded really weird. Let's pretend that nothing happened. Oh, okay, nice. Hi, welcome to the ONBS. The name's Sec. I'm supposed to be in charge here. I'm glad to meet you. It was started by kids five years ago during the Shadow Incident. A tiny network has grown into this today. Do I remember any of y'all? I know that it took maybe... Maybe two years? Five years ago? In front, you know, in game events wise, I'm trying to like remember was it like five years? There, was there like a five year gap between Calcium and XD, or was it two years, or was it more than that? I operate this place with my partner, Net. We're convinced that reporting the unvarnished truth will be for the good of peace and justice. Anyways, did you want something from me? And I passed the Professor Crane's message a sec. You're kidding! Cyphers is using its desert lab again? Okay, understood. You should take that SD card and show it to Net right away. I'm sure he can decipher whatever information is stored on that SD card. That one is a little girl too. Where are these kids from? Coliseum? I think I know the, a character named Net. I know a character named Net. But I think I also remember like group of children around in the beginning of the game when we went to Pyrite. What were they are they like now in charge of the 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 news organization now? Is that what is it is that what it is now? Did you hear me? Oh no, it's so embarrassing. That was the ONBS song that I composed. It's, it's catchy and memorable, don't you think? Alright, I just need to find Net. Oh, it probably is. I see this little girl and I think I recognize her. It's so weird that when you start to like recognize some of the characters from past games and I think they might be older now or something. Ah, I don't know where my mommy is. Please, help me find my mommy. I gotta look for a net, though. Alright, fine. Yay, thank you. I wonder where my mommy went. Okay. Hello, big muscular la lady. I was hoping to put together a new Pokemon battle program. I'm gathering information for it. I'm trying to decide on the star. Hmm. 
Since it is a program about battling, I suppose the legendary trainer Egan would be the logical choice. Okay. Okay, we're going live! Q! Oh shit. We bring you a special news bulletin! Professor Crane, the adopted head of the Pokemon HQ lab, has been safely rescued. Professor Crane had been held captured in Cypher's desert research facility, which was widely believed to have been abandoned. Reports say that Professor Crane was rescued by a lone teen. This incident is evidence that Cypher has returned after apparently being crushed five years ago. Okay. Also, it was fucking five years ago, Jesus. The authorities fear that Cypher's return could result in more serious incidents. Citizens are urged to be vigilant and cautious. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a wrap. Good job, uh, Anika. Anika's looking great like she always does. That's- that's every- that's every news reporter women. I mean, a I mean, technically she's- she was sitting down, but usually in real life when- when it comes to, like, news reporters for women, like, on a forecast, is like, they wear a tight dress and then they turn a certain way and it's like, you see their booty? <laughs> oh wait, maybe that's something else. Forget I say anything. R literally forget that I say anything. Uh, it might be hard to imagine, but when Annika was starting out, she was prone to on-air disasters. Now look at her. She's becoming OMB's top newscaster. There's absolutely no question about that these days. Alright, let's talk to the lady herself. Herself. Fuck. Did I say himself for some reason? I'm Anika. I'm the newscaster here in ONBS. My job is to deliver the news to as many people as possible. When I was starting out, I did experience some close calls, but still, I find this job to be fulfilling. Well, that must be fun. Get out of the way, little girl. Don't be like jo Jovi. You're lucky that I was looking for your mommy. I came out from here or here? Oh no way, I gotta go back up. Fuck. Why did you lose your mommy? I need to find Net. I can't remember who the fuck Net is. Are you the same motherfucker that tried to like take a picture of, of the lady's booty? Or you might be the uh, different dude. Who knows? I think already all the Pokemon's health were already restored by that point. Oh, this isn't going well. I have to go on the air soon, but my candy, candy has a comeback. What the fuck kind of a name is that? Oh, mommy! Candy, sweetheart! Mommy! Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried about you. You seem to just disappeared. I'm sorry, Mommy. I went out of your room for just a minute, but then I couldn't find it again. That guy there brought me here. Oh my, how very kind of you. Thank you. And I didn't get shit in return. Thank you, you better give me shit. What is T- what the fuck is TM31B? Ooh, Psych Shock. 
Very interesting. Okay. But nah, seriously, so I need to find- I need to fucking find Net. Hey, hey, we can't have you wandering around here. It's not safe. Come on, out you go. Give me that fucking item. Jesus Christ. Give me that shit. Net's gotta be up here. I've been told by Net to not allow anyone through. He's working right now. Huh? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab. But I still can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Kevin? Do you have a- Do we have a visitor? God fucking damn it! His name never fucking escapes! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Net! This person here says he's come calling from the Pokemon HQ lab. Oh yes, I was expecting him. Please show him through. Oh, sure thing. I'll let him through. Now please, Ned's waiting for you inside. I'm sure like soon after, there's gonna be some shit going on with Cypher. Like trying to take over the lab and shit. Taking over this, uh, this building. Hello, I've been expecting you. You're Akuago, right? I'm Net. And this is Bit. He's a friend- He's my friend and an invaluable partner. Pleased to meet you. We've heard from Professor Crane. Sounds like you've pulled off a darling rescue. Or daring rescue. Yes, Bit. But now's not the time to waste chatting. Let me see- Let's see the data Professor Crane called about. Alright. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings back memories. Oh. Uh, Net, I rem- I knew you might remember me somewhere. Maybe not the character, but me as a player. It does bring me back memories. Might be five years ago from in-game, but it was most but it was definitely fucking um back in like twenty like back in twenty nineteen, so maybe four years ago in in my case. Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to check the contents of this SD card. Can you wait while I do that? Hey Net, how's this for an idea? Our news team should be out visiting Dooking at one of the one of his pokey spots. Oh, Dooking! I remember Dooking. To follow a story about wild Pokemon. Since he's since he's got free time, why not have him go visit Dooking as well? Hey, that's good. Good suggestion, bit. Are you interested in wild Pokemon? It wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Oh yes, may I have your P-Star DA number? I'll contact you as soon as I find anything out. Yeah, sure, I'll give you my phone number to a stranger. Thank you, I'll try to decipher this as quickly as possible. By the way, Bit, where is our news team? Um... I think they said the rock poke spot. I think this this poke spot was the destination. Okay, Akuago, go out to the poke spot and wait for me to call. Who knows? You may see some wild Pokemon. Alrighty. Yeah, let's go to a poke spot. This is literally one of those things that uh, XD. Gil Darkness introduces, believe it or not. This concept gets introduced here. And basically what it is is that, yeah, you can actually... You have to buy per, uh, Poke Snacks. You leave them in the spot, at, at one of the Poke Spots. There's three of them in total. There's a rock, there's a lake version, and then the cave. And then 
when you wait long enough and you're supposed to get a radar um to do this but when you get a pokey radar uh you have to wait till the radar goes off and once it does you have to detect which location is it that a, a pokemon is eating snacks and when you and if you make it fast enough you actually find a wild pokemon to battle it and to actually capture them okay let me just grab some fucking water for a sec Okay, that felt good. Hello, people. It's time for Patty's Fast Break Report. We bring you news while it's breaking. How do you bring shit while it's breaking? Today, we're visiting Duking, the discoverer of pokey spots where wall Pokemon appear. Duking is said to be the driving force behind the booming popularity of wall Pokemon in Pyrite. Duking! So is this the pokey spot that you've discovered? Hello, Duking here. Yeah, that's absolutely right. For 15 long and torturous years, I toiled, snatching sleep only grudgingly to find this pokey spot. 15 years? Is that true? Yeah, uh, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story. Isn't that right, Betty? Itty bitty titties. Okay, that was fucking bad. It's Patty! <laughs> I was gonna say a pun, but it's... It's not gonna sound fucking good, so I'm not gonna say it. Alright, let me explain how one goes about attracting wild Pokemon to a Pokemon spot. Well, seeing as you're here, wouldn't it be better if I got someone to demonstrate? Oh, you there. Yes, you kid. You'll be perfect. Come over here, mate. Hi. <laughs> Alright, my friend. Let me show you how to attract wild Pokemon to a Pokestop spot. First and above all else, you need these. Duking brand... Pokey snacks. Here, I'll give you some. Nice. Thanks, dude. However, my friend, lay those pokey snacks out on that pokey plate there. Go now, now. Yeah, so you lay down some pokey snacks. I'm gonna put one there. Very good, mate. That's how you do it. When you lay out a pokey snacks, leave the area. Eventually, a wild Pokemon will come along. Just you wait. The more Poke Snacks you lay out, the longer the Pokemon will stay to eat, making it much easier to catch. Okay. This is also important. My specialty made Poke Spot. My specialty made Spot Monitor. This, I'm sure you'll agree, is something awesome. My goodness, you developed this device yourself? Yeah, uh, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story, isn't that right, right Betty? <laughs> yeah, uh, Dukin does not like this bitch. <laughs> it's Patty! Fucker! <laughs> By the way, Dukin, can you tell us what the po spot monitor is? I'm glad you asked me that. My spot monitor is a dandy. It lets you know what's happening at my poke spot where, wherever you are. Here, my friend, as my thanks for you hearing me out patiently, I'll give you a gift of this too. Slot it to your Peace Star DA. That's all you need to do to make it work. Simple. Thanks, dude. Thank you, mate. Alright, and I think that fills in practically everything. 
everything on that slot for that menu. All right, now you're set. Now, when a wild Pokemon appears at any Poke spot, your spot monitor will respond and alert you. I found three Poke spots in all. There's one to the west of this one here. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the. Is that the cave or the beach riverside? Use these Poke spots and catch yourself some wild Pokemon. Give it a try, mate. Thanks, dude. Oh, this is the Oasis. It's called an Oasis. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh shit, he just followed us here. Oh, it's you. You're that lad who helped us out that news show. Thanks much, mate. I'm surprised you came out to a place like this. It must mean you're seri seriously interested in wild Pokemon. That's marvelous. This makes it all worthwhile. I'm teaching you, I mean. So, you find upstanding lad, lover of wild Pokemon, I have some information that you'll find to be special. But my friend, I also have a favor to ask. That's a fair deal, right? Oh yeah, sure. Thank you, Glad, kindly. You see, there are several Pokemon that offer often show up at Poke spots. Aerodactyl, Chansey, and Dratini. I'm having a rotten time trying to catch those three. If you were to catch them, I'd gladly trade you some of my Pokemon, mate. I'm counting on you, mate. I've got to be on my way now. Oh, he's probably gonna show me one more location. Oops, I must have forget. I promised to give you some special information, didn't I? If you go way off to the northeast, there's those poke spots that's hard to find since it's inside a cave. That's my favorite poke spot. You've got to go see it. Well, I guess I should be going on my way. Real pleasure chatting with you again, mate. I'll be heading back to Pyrite. Come visit whenever you like. Let's meet again, mate. Alright. So actually, I want to put in maybe two Poke spots. We can. I can obviously try to see who ends up coming to each of these Poke spots. Uh, I think what are the differences now for for the Poke spots? Because normally there would be like nine Pokemon, each Pokemon in three of the locations, so nine wild Pokemon in total. But I think in the ROM hack, there's like around maybe 20 to 25 Pokemon in total you can encounter. So that's well, so the hack creator decides to like make more of a variety of Pokemon that you could find and encounter, which is great. But yeah, you can find these two again, I guess. What do you figure the boss is going to do now? I'm tired of this life, man. I need to put down roots somewhere. Don't whine. You know what the boss always says. He'll get Mirror B Squad together one day. It will own all the Pokemon in the world. Sure. Do you really think we could pull off something like... Well, well then... I'm gonna have to pause this recording for a bit. Uh, I need to get water. I'm very thirsty. And my mouth is running fucking dry, so that's why, too. So, uh, I will be right back. <laughs> 